we can calculate the running count using the dcount function. Open query designer, add the table orders, add the fields order date and order ID, click on totals. In order ID column in the total row, select count to get the count of orders for each day. Name the column count using an alias. A running count is the count of a sequence of numbers which is updated each time a new number is added to the sequence. Use the dcount function as an expression to return the running count of orders after each day. In the field row, right click on an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression to get the running count of orders on each day. Pass order id as the field and orders as the domain arguments. Use the less than or equal to operator in the criteria to return the count of orders where order date equals or is less than the date returned by the query. The dcount function returns the count of orders for each date plus the count of orders for any earlier date, thereby returning the running count. A running total is the sum of a sequence of numbers which is updated each time a number is added to the sequence by adding the value of the new number to the previous running total. Add the column order total, select sum in the total row, name the column as total, this returns the total sales on each day. To return the running total, use the dsum function. Enter this expression in the next empty cell in the field row. The dsum function returns the sum of order total for each date plus the total for any earlier date, thereby returning the running total. Run the query. Running count and running total for each day are returned. To download example access file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.